Okay, so we all know the secret to playing great tennis is when we're seeing the ball well, when we're making clean contact. Well, today I'm gonna show you a pretty cool tool that you can use to train your brain, your body, your eyes, everything to start watching that ball closer, start making clean contact, because we know that's when we're in the zone, when we feel like we're seeing the ball, that's when we're hitting the ball well. So uh, let's talk about what the key is right here before I show you this tool. What are the keys to making consistent clean contact? I think the number one key is you want to have a nice, smooth runway through the tennis ball. You obviously want to be watching that ball closely. That's one of the secrets that Roger Federer does, right, is, is we've marveled at the, the video of watching Federer hit shots and he's hitting the ball, the ball's gone, and his eyes are still right where he hit the ball. I like to call that fed focus, and that's one of the things we're going to be using with our tool today to just reinforce that we're going to be making clean contact. Another thing, though, is lots of players, as they're getting into the hitting zone, whether it's a conscious or subconscious thing, they tend to pull up and out of the hitting zone. They might be wanting to hit more topspin, or you might be a little nervous. So instead of creating this long runway through the ball, which is going to get, because you don't know the exact precise millisecond you're actually going to make contact with the ball, you, just, you think you do, but this tool I'm going to show you right here, and it's going to be a humbling experience for me, is going to show you that, that you're not watching the ball as closely as you think you are. So we think we know exactly where we're going to hit the ball, but we really don't. And the more we can keep our racket basically collecting that tennis ball, kind of like if you want to collect uh, something like a leaf in a pool, you have the, the pool strainer going out there and collecting it, right? So same thing with your tennis racket. You want to start getting the racket behind the ball, hitting, staying with it as long as we can, and through. Even when you watch the great Rafael Nadal, it looks lots of times like he's hitting and then he's like over his head. That's actually not so. If you watch when he's hitting, it's one of the things I marvel about Rafa because that's what I used to think when I watch him hit. I'm like, how's he getting all that spin and depth when he's basically doing that? But if you watch him in slow motion, he's actually hitting, coming way through first and then up and around. So that's the key is really watching the ball, being able to judge it well, keeping eyes down. And when we do that, we're going to hit nice, clean forehands. By the way, guys, we're getting ready for our forehand challenge. You can go to 7dayforehandchallenge.com to sign up. So make sure you sign up because we're starting basically next week. So watch this. Da -na 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 -na. I got my cool. Thank you, Jan, for saying this to me. Guys, if you want one, you can go in the description below. This is called the Sweet Spotter. You go in the description below, click the link, or if you're on my email list, uh, you can click the link in the email. But uh, here it is, it's pretty cool. This is literally me unveiling it. I, I, I have not seen the new one. This is a new Sweet Spotter. It looks pretty sweet. It's got the tennis grip here. And so, let's compare it, the Sweet Spotter, Let's compare the sweet spotter to the actual sweet spot. So right there, it's pretty much, if we're able to come and hit this tennis ball right on the sweet spot, we're gonna get a great result. We're gonna hit a great shot. But since it's shaped like a baseball bat, if we're a little off, it's gonna shank up, it's gonna shank down. And that's exactly what happens. Okay, this is this gonna be less forgiving than a tennis racket. Let me tell you that right now, okay? It's gonna be less forgiving, and that's gonna train our eyes to really stay with the ball. It's gonna train our racket, our sweet spotter, to really stay with the ball cleanly so we can start the ball solid. But think about that. In tennis, if we're a little off, if we hit the ball up here, Right? If we're trying to hit in the sweet spot, but we hit it up here, now the ball is going to fly out on us. If we hit it too low on the frame, lots of times we're going to hit it in the net. So we want to hit it right in the right spot so that we can have a sweet shot. Therefore, the sweet spotter. So I'm going to practice a couple with, of these and see if I can hit some sweet spot shots. We'll take a look at it from the back. 
But what I have to train myself, again, too, because as we get nervous, like I really want to hit this right in the middle, sometimes we be too careful. But we don't want to be too careful with this thing either. We don't want to swing too fast. We don't want to be swinging. We got to find the Goldilocks swing because if we swing too fast, we're probably swinging too fast for our eyes, right? And we don't want to swing too slow because that's when we start to get timid. You know, a lot of times people miss most of their shots when they're actually playing too careful. So we got to find a nice runway. We want to really feel, that's another thing too, the way this is weighted, it really promotes if you just let your, your racket go through the ball, it really promotes a nice long swing path. So let's see I do right here. And that actually took way off, okay? So even though I thought, man, I'm pretty good at tennis, I'm gonna hit a good shot, that actually went over the fence the other way. Don't worry, I'll show you my embarrassing mistakes uh, from behind here in a second. Let me try another one though. All right, right here, again, I wanna hit through it nice and clean. Now that was better. That was better, I was happy with that. So again, I'm already training the brain, train the eyes. Let's take a look at some from the back. Okay, so next ball. Again, really trying to watch that ball, nice long runway through it. That was pretty sweet. That was a sweet spire. And when you hit it right, it feels really good. It's addictive. It's kind of like when you hit a great tennis shot or a great golf swing or you hit a baseball shot really good. If you're, if you're somebody who loves sports, when you hit it well, it's very satisfying. And when you don't hit it well, again, it gives you that feedback. It doesn't feel quite as good. So it looks like when I miss so far, I'm missing down. That is perfection right there. That is perfection right there. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh no! You see that? So it's showing, it's really training like if you're slightly off. You see that, that one was a home run. So no good there, no good there. Let me try again though. I'm loving this, this is kind of addictive. Again, if you want one, go in the description uh, below this video. Also, make sure you sign up. I got two links in there. Also, make sure you sign up for your seven day uh, forehand challenge. I'll analyze your forehand for you. And, okay, so I went down again. Up again, you see? It's not that easy. Down again. So you gotta really, really focus, guys. And there it is, again, beautiful shot. The sweet spotter is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So make sure if you want one, you go in the description below. You can get yourself one. Really train yourself. We're gonna be working hard on the forehand. We're gonna be working hard on the forehand coming up. We're gonna do our seven day forehand challenge. So you get your sweet spotter. You go through the seven day forehand challenge. After you, so what's the next step there? You go through some, some growing pains there. You experience some good shots, some embarrassing shots in the net, some shots over the fence with the sweet spotter. Then you get your racket. Now all of a sudden making good clean contact is a breeze, okay? Now all of a sudden hitting those shots like that is a snap. But you also have to have the good technique. So we're gonna teach you the awesome forehand, the ATP forehand. We're gonna teach you the ultimate rally ball. We're gonna be showing you ATP footwork with the seven day forehand challenge. I'm gonna teach you how to run serve plus one place. You get free 48 hour access, and then if you wanna to go to the next level for like pennies, you can sign up and get lifetime access. So make sure you sign up for the seven day forehand challenge. Make sure you check out Jan Sweet Spotter, and make sure you smash up the subscribe button. We are getting close to 50,000 subscribers, and when we get to 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a raffle I'm gonna do a raffle and give somebody a $200 gift certificate to Tennis Express, okay? So if you love tennis, you should smash up the subscribe button and the like button. Comment below, what do you think of this? What do you think of the Sweet Spotter? Do you like the Sweet Spotter? Do you see the value in that? It's a little embarrassing using the Sweet Spotter. You saw, I shanked some way, I, it's like when, you, when it goes way off on you too, you can't believe it because you swear. It's kind of like golf, like you think you hit a great golf shot, but you know what? The angles don't lie. If you're a little off, it's brutal. And that's what this is. If you're a little off on your angle, approach to hitting the ball, it's gonna let you know that instantly. But when you hit it clean, it's gonna let you know, good, that was a good job. Do that again, and then you can get in the zone with it. And then once you put the racket in your hand, tennis is actually easy. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. 
It's time to develop a forehand with massive power and spin without having to give up accuracy and consistency and without having to spend hours and hours on the court every day for the rest of your life. My name is Peter Freeman and I'm the founder of Crunch Time Coaching. You may have seen one of my Upgrade Your Forehand Challenge videos on YouTube where I work with the great Rick Macy who's worked with William Sisters, Andy Roddick. I'm on a mission to learn the truth on what truly makes a great forehand so I can bring the coaching goal back to you. And that's introducing the seven day Upgrade Your Forehand Challenge. When you enroll in my challenge today, you're gonna get lifetime access to $1,068 worth of training. The challenge includes seven days of step-by-step -step video coaching, the perfect practice plan drill sheet, live coaching and support from yours truly. Enter your information below and enroll now. It's an insane $1,068 worth of value. If this is finally where your forehand transformation begins, wouldn't it be worth it?